we I had another email questioning the purchasing policy and the purchasing policy that we signed. There is some conf there is confusion with what was done and whether we did it appropriately and we need to clean it up. We need to work on it. And I'm going to let Jamie talk about it because he researched it this morning with Christy and they went through the whole thing and then Mark might have something to add on it. We all took a look at it pretty thoroughly today. Um, and so we'll take it in two parts. Okay. First part is um, the process of dealing with that policy, as I understand. We did some research, go back, look at your minutes. And, and generally, I would say, yes, there is confusion there, uh, and it needs to be cleaned up. Let me start with the practical part. Once this was brought to my attention today, we did some research. Two things are there. One, um, the $15,000 limit that has historically been the number, um, as a practice, that's what's being utilized. All your big three department heads all believe that that's the number. Uh, there's been no further directive to them to change that. Uh, Christy was aware of that as well. And further, I asked you to go back and look at all of the purchases that exceed that limit this year. What was the process? And in every case, it's bid process or they come under one of the waivers to the board, sole source, a waiver for a particular reason. Every one of those that we've researched for this calendar year fit that, pr that criteria. Um, I do know that there was some discussion about changing things in there. That's something that the manager was, was primarily in charge of dealing with. We do have a, a historical thing we put together for you today. We'll put in your boxes for your review that takes um, what we could find from the minutes of your meetings, all of your discussions that took place on this issue, so you can read that and absorb that and deal with that in your next set of meetings if you need to. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Any questions? Mark, did you have anything? That's fine. Any questions on that? I, I just think we need to clarify it. We need to clean it up. We need to make sure that it is what we've signed or what we've voted on. And, you know, I, I think sometimes people in the public try to assign motive to something, which is not the case. There was no motive. Yeah, I think you'll see the chronology, and Fred can speak to what the motives are, but the yeah. chronology is fairly clear as I go through it. There is one vote that is, that is confusing, um, but it, it, as you go through it, from my read of it, there hasn't been a substantial change to that policy from what was existing as the 15000 as the maximum amount, the standard policy. There were discussions about moving that number. Uh, I know the managers reported to you there's a draft. There, there's absolutely a chronology within the minutes that absolutely is confusing on that. There is a vote that the board took to reaffirm a vote, but we find no actual vote in the first place. So you can't really affirm a vote that doesn't appear in the record to have taken place. Okay. So clearly there is further discussion you need to verify what you want, whether it's the existing policy as your department heads have known it, and it is, or do you want to make some certain tweaks to that? That's certainly okay. within the bird. So we have all that information that we can all look over? And yep, there'll be packets it. put in your boxes for you to <coughs> review on that chronology with all of the minutes of what took place. But again, I want to assure you and the public that the 15,000 limit has not changed that's what the department heads have been operating under, uh, and that's what our understanding of how it's supposed to work until we hear differently from the board as a directive. Okay. Anybody have anything on that? Thank you. Well, thank you for researching that. 